there, Sunroom Toys. Today we're here to talk about another one from the Spider-Man Retro Marvel Legends series. This time we have the Green Goblin with the Norman Osborn head and his glider. So without any further ado, let's crack this bad boy open and see what he's about. Alright guys, here's the Green Goblin in all his beauty. He's definitely a lighter weight plastic than the previous version, which I've mentioned in reviews before. It seems Hasbro's going with... Uh, lighter weight material, more flexibility. People have kind of hated on his head sculpt. We'll get to that in a little bit. But here he is. Check out the scaling. It's beautiful. So here we have the Green Goblin in hand from the retro wave. I've got Norman Osborn kind of looking at his suit like, what's up guys? So this is a pretty beautiful figure. I have seen a lot of hate. I'm going to tell you right away, the head's fucking loose. So... Be careful with it. Hopefully yours will be a little better. Maybe some uh, polish or something that they use to tighten up the joint. The rest of them's pretty solid. He's a very lightweight figure. As I said before, he's got a decent ab crunch. He can go up pretty far. He can go down pretty far. He doesn't have butterfly joints, which I wish that he did. The neck piece is extra, so it can come off as far as his little hood. He comes with a satchel. It'd be nice if they would have painted in there, but they didn't. He's got the ankle rockers, double jointed knees and elbows. His hands are pretty cool. He comes with this glider, which is basically a reissue of the one that came with the original figure. Nothing special to it this time. Same kind of deal. We're used to that from Hasbro. And of course the pumpkin bomb, which is the same as the other ones, I believe. Nothing special on that end either, but it's nice to have it when you have a Green Goblin figure. He's got some posability to him. He definitely moves very fluid, as did Spider-Man. He doesn't have the special legs that Spider-Man has, but I wasn't expecting that because it is just Green Goblin and it wasn't stated. I do feel like the legs are built a little awkward if you look there. It kind of stands out like it wasn't proportionately corrected, I guess, is the best term to put for it. You can see that he has the curl on the hood. The detail in there is amazing, and the ears. It definitely has that Toy Biz vibe head, which I believe is what they were going for. Let's go ahead and get Norman here. Put him on a standard suit body. It was a little tight fit on this one, and I believe this is from the two-pack of uh, Killmonger and the Agent. The head is nice. It does not have that animated feel for me, only because I think they could have did a little better painting on the head, a little differential. He has a very standard stoic face, which is to be expected from Hasbro. I like the eyebrow raise, but you can see the head doesn't move as fluid. It is a tight fit. So if you're going for a fit on this kind of body, be careful. Let's take it off. And then let's take off the goblin head, and we'll swap them. Let's see how that looks. I don't think it's designed to go on this figure. Okay, once again it's a tight fit. I don't want to break my figure right away. But, very tight fit. The other head moved too much, this one doesn't want to stay on, and I'm sure it could just be my, fig my fingers. Let's see. There we go. So here's how he would look without his mask on, if you want to use him unmasked. So all in all, it's a great figure. It does have its quirks, which I've mentioned, but uh, pretty decent. Thank you, Hasbro, for another one. I think I'll do Gwen Stacy next. Hey there, Sunroom. I appreciate you guys checking out this Green Goblin review. It was a lot of fun. There are some bad things on it, so please take a peek and pay attention when you go to pick this guy up. He's great for in-package, not so much for display. The head is wobbly. Uh, as always, we appreciate you checking out the Sunroom toy reviews, and if you'd like, please find us on Facebook. I'll include the link down in the description below. Like comment, describe. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down and tell me why. Help me improve. I'm looking for ideas. Thank you guys very much and you have a great day. See you soon, Sunroom.